Right, good evening, everyone. Um, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the welcome to the Scottish Parliament. Um, uh, on behalf of uh, Scotland's Futures Forum, let me let me welcome you here to Holyrood uh, and this event in our Scotland 2030 programme. My name is Adam Tompkins, MSP, and I'm hosting this event. It says here uh, as one of the directors of um, Scotland's Futures. Uh, forum. Uh, and first, let me thank you for your patience. Um, uh, and uh, even though we had to uh, start uh, late because the um, uh, proceedings in the chamber were going on, we will be finishing um, by eight o'clock, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. No, eight o'clock um, uh, this evening. So the Scotland 2030 programme is the future forum's major programme for this parliamentary session. And it's an investigation into the kind of country that we want Scotland to be in 2030. Um, an exploration of our culture um, and our society. And through themed discussions, what we're trying to do is to challenge participants uh, to think about the longer term opportunities uh, that exist and to develop aspirational visions uh, for our future to share throughout the parliament and uh, beyond. This evening, we'll be focusing on the question of how Scotland will make its living in 2030. And we'll be asking where Scotland's economy could and should be in 2030. Where are our current economic strengths and weaknesses? What do we need to do to exploit the former and mitigate against the latter? What kind of technology will affect our economy and the jobs in it? And how environmentally and socially sustainable can our economy become? Our first two events uh, earlier in the year considered the impact of technological and environmental change on our society. And we heard predictions of smartphones being obsolete, which is uh, very scary if you're a politician, and uh, driving being only a leisure activity and not something that we need to do for any kind of commercial purpose by 2030. We were informed that Scotland will undoubtedly be both warmer and even wetter by 2030, whether that means the spiders are going to be big. Oh, your house is being invaded by spiders too. <laughs> Could barely sleep last night, it was terrifying. Um, <laughs> even if we keep within the carbon budget available to us, uh, we still face massive uh, challenge. These discussions um, provided uh, an insight to the challenges of our future. And I expect, it says here, similarly lively debate, but actually we've done it differently this time because we've eaten and had a glass of wine before. So tonight I want an even more lively debate, otherwise we're not doing wine again. Um, and we've got two fantastic speakers, both of whom I'm absolutely delighted to welcome to the Parliament this evening. And shortly we'll hear from Catherine Trebek from Oxfam. But first I'd like to introduce Jamie Coleman, uh, the co-founder and chairman of Codebase. Uh, based in Edinburgh, Codebase is the largest tech company incubator in the United Kingdom. It has helped companies like Skyscanner and FanDuel grow into worldwide successes, and it's currently home to more than 90 businesses. And with a background in life sciences, after a first job as a, as a librarian, Jamie is in an excellent position to provide his view on our strengths, our weaknesses, and our potential future economy. And he's got 39 slides and 15 minutes, not the other way around. 